Hey guys, today we are starting our next unit, which is Pythagorean Theorem. And Pythagorean Theorem is a special relationship between the sides of a right triangle. So we are going to start looking at that relationship today. Before we do that, we need to review some key vocabulary that is important whenever we're talking about Pythagorean Theorem. So the first word that we're gonna review is sum. This is the result when two numbers are added. So addition, and then difference is the result when two numbers are subtracted. So just a subtraction problem. Okay, and then Pythagorean theorem has a lot to do with the square of a number and the square root of a number. So let's review square of a number. That is when you multiply a number by itself. And it is called the square of a number because that's what happens when you find the area of a square. We just do the side length squared. So the area is seven squared or 49 here. Okay, and then square root of a number is just the inverse of squaring a number. You could think of it as the side length of a square is the square root of the area. So here it wants us to find the side length of the square of the given area. So I would take the square root of 64 and I would figure out that this side length of the square is eight inches. All right, some other words that we need to review are parts of a right triangle. So here is a right triangle. You can see the right angle here. The two shorter sides are the legs. They form the right angle and then the longest side across from the right angle is called the hypotenuse. So that's all we are filling in here. The two shorter sides that form the right angle are called the legs and they are referred to as sides A and B. And then the longest side across from the right angle is called the hypotenuse and that is referred to as side C across from the right angle. Okay, so finally, the Pythagorean Theorem. This shows the relationship between three sides of a right triangle. It only works with right triangles. And what the Pythagorean Theorem says is that the sum of the squares of the two smaller sides, so adding the squares of the two smaller sides, which are A and B, are equal to the square of the larger side, so C. Or in short, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's prove that with this picture here. We're gonna prove that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A is the side length of the triangle here. And I can tell that it's one, two, three. And then B is the side length of the triangle here and I can tell that it's one, two, three, four. And C is the hypotenuse, and I can tell that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we want to know, does the Pythagorean theorem work, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, with this triangle? So A was 3, B was 4, and C was 5. Now I'm going to square all of those numbers. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. And you can actually see that here. A, the area of it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. B, the area of it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then if you notice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are the blocks from A. And there are the 16 blocks from B. And they create c squared. So 9 plus 16, these two right here, equaled 25. So that is the special relationship seen in all right triangles. The two smaller squares add together to equal c squared. All right, now we are just going to use this special relationship to solve some problems. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. They want us to find the area of square C. Well, I know A and B, the two smaller squares, they are 12 and 22. And I will just add them together to find this square right here. 
I'm just following the Pythagorean theorem. So 12 plus 22 is 32. So the area of square C is 32 inches squared. Okay, this one's a little bit different. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This time they are wanting us to find B squared. So let's substitute into our formula and see what we can find out. So A squared is the smaller one, eight, plus B squared, that's what I'm finding, and C squared is 37. I need to get B by itself. So I'm just going to subtract eight. And I get that B squared is 30, sorry, 29. So it is 29 inches squared. Okay, this one, it's wanting me to find the area of square C. So I will plug into Pythagorean theorem since I see that right triangle here. And A squared is 11, B squared is 22, and together they will equal C squared. So 11 plus 22 is 33, so that means the area of square C is 33 inches squared. Okay, next one wants us to find the area of square C. I want you to notice the difference between 1 and 4. On 1, they gave us the areas and the numbers were already squared. On number 4, these numbers are not squared yet. They have not given us the areas, so we need to find the areas. We have to do 2.5 squared to find the area of square C. So I'm going to do 2.5, and that key is the square key, and I get 6.25 inches squared. Okay, let's do the same thing for square B. I have the side length, but I need the area of it. So I'm going to do 4.2 squared. And 4.2 squared is 17.64 inches squared. So now I have A squared and B squared, and I will be able to find C squared with that. I'm just going to plug into my formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A squared, I found it, it was 6.25. B squared was 17.64, and that will equal C squared. So I'm just going to add those together, 6.25 plus 17.64, and I get 23.89 inches squared. Okay, number five, it says, what is the area of square B? So I know with Pythagorean theorem that these two areas will equal this one right here, but I don't know the area of this square yet. So I'm going to find it by doing 3 squared, and 3 squared is 9. So now that I have the areas, I will be able to plug into Pythagorean theorem to find b squared. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I have a squared, it's 9, I'm looking for b squared, and c squared is 70. To get b squared by itself, I'm just going to subtract 9, so then b squared is 61. So that means the area of square b is 61 inches squared. Okay, last one, what is the side length of square c? So Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It is all about the areas. I know if I add a squared and b squared together, I can find the area of this, and then I can use that area to find this side length. So first thing I'm going to do is find the areas of a and b. So I'm going to do 4 squared, and I get 16 centimeters. And then I'm going to do 5 squared, and I get 25 centimeters squared. Let's add those together to find the area of square C. 
So I'm going to do 16 plus 25 equals C squared. And 16 plus 25 is 41. So I found the area of this square, it's 41 centimeters squared. But this time they were not asking for the area, they were asking for the side length. So remember at the beginning, to find a side length of the square, given the area, we take the square root. So my last step here to find the side length is just to take the square root. And the square root of 41 is 6.4 centimeters.